Assignment complete. Alright, what's next? Nothing works. Sounds wonderful. Let's get to work. Um, we've got triple bonded nitrogen and methane, and we need to make hydrogen cyanide and regular hydrogen. So let's see, how are we going to do this? We need to take... Hmm. Okay, well... Uh, hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Well, nevertheless, we need to have a disassembly reactor here and here, because those parts are no good. We need to have those disassembled. And of course, there has to be assembly reactors here and here. And that fills up our reactor quota, so I guess it's all set. So let's start deciding what our outputs will be. Let's see, well this can only output nitrogen anyway. So let's see. Hmm. Let's try something like this. Okay. This can only output nitrogen, so... Head note to upper output. Nitrogen. And I guess this lower pipe will do nothing. And then this will have to output... Let's see... This will have to output hydrogen in one direction. Like this. We're actually going to have uneven proportions here, but it's okay, it should work out. So, our upper output should be C bonded to H, just like that. Technically, actually, we don't even need this reactor. Well, no, no, I guess we do, because... Well, no. Let's see. If I were to put two hydrogens, two of these together, then I would be like, oh yeah, I'd have one left over. Can't have that, so we'll just have to have out, have the bottom just output hydrogens. No problem. And I believe that's it. I believe we can start getting to work on our programs. Let's see, this one will be the simplest. Just got a D-bond. So we can just get rid of these two out of the way here. And the blue can't really do anything in this case. Well, no, I guess it can. Just to speed things up a bit. The red could handle it all by itself, but we'll just use the red to speed it up. So, we need to have the red input and grab. Let's see. It'll go around, drop, double take three times. One, two, three, and then pelvic thrust! Woohoo! Yes, I know, I'm not above SpongeBob references. Let's see here. I will blame that on my nephew. Let's see. Here, grab the second one. So I need to move the blue back a bit. Go around. Come up here, and it needs to drop right there. Output. And two sync buttons. Perfect. Once again, we've got just enough space. Now let's start working on the blue. Needs to know when to go. So here, grab. Go up here. No. There you go. Mm, drop there. Gee, I tell you what, using the mouse sure is its hurting my thumb. Or rather, using the touchpad. A regular mouse probably wouldn't be hurting my thumb. Okay. That reaction should be set to go. Okay, that was just that one.
and that'll be just outputting nitrogen to up there. So let's go ahead and work on our second disassembly reaction. Let's see, we need to have... okay. So what we want to do is... ah, oh gee. Okay, yeah. Here we go. We want to have it oriented like this. So that way the hydrogen on the left will not be unbonded. Okay. Well, whoops, I moved the red over too far. Let's see. Let's have it input. Grab right in the middle. Then it'll come down over here. Hmm. Hmm. G. Okay, I think... Hmm. We need to come at this from a different angle. We, in, in fact, need to come at this from the complete opposite angle. So, let's try going around. Like this. And doing bond minus right in the middle, because then these three hydrogens will just be hanging out. It'll have to carry this around. Oh, gee. Whoop. Hmm. There we go. That's a bit better. It'll come around. It'll drop. Let's see, it'll be holding onto the carbon, so it needs to drop here. Yeah, that'll work. That actually looks a bit nicer. Throw a sink there to let the blue know to go. And then it'll wait to start over again. Good, now we can start working on blue. Which will be waiting here. Let's throw a sink button there and there for when we come back around so I don't have to remember to do it later. Hold on, my headphone is or my headset is bothering me. Okay. Needs to grab. Oh gee, I see a problem. And drop. And output. Then we can grab. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Drop and output. See, it can't... Hmm... Can't go through any one square more than twice, so... What am I going to do with this last grab? I'm actually going to have to drop it somewhere else. Hmm. Hold on, let me think. Maybe I can have the red line do a little bit more work. Okay, so we'll ha we'll just have the blue line leave it at that. So it's going to come around and grab these two. Let's have the red line. See, it's going to unbond, drop, and out. But what if we had it go down? Yeah, let's change this arrow to down. Put the output over here. Have it come this way. Grab this atom. Keeping in mind that these two will still be there at that time. It'll go down this way. Oh god, this is going to be weird. But it'll work. It's going to drop right here. Output. Whatever that letter is, which I still haven't looked up. 
And then it'll go around this little road bump, and... in here. Except we need to move this sync button. Because it needs to be, like, right here. Okay. No reason that shouldn't work. Okay, so we've got two of our programs done. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so we're getting nitrogen from here, and... Okay, that's not hard. Once again, we only need two bonders. We can throw the other two in the corner. So we need to have this... Oh. In. Move it over a bit. In. Grab. Come over here. You know what? Actually, I think we need to have the red one go second this time. Because it's just going to come through here. Oh. It actually has to drop it because it needs to bond three times. Hmm. Okay. It's going to have to go through a little bonding loop here. Then it'll come up here, grab, come around here, uh, it needs to go up this way. Okay, let's throw a sync button right there before the start, have it drop right here just as the diagram says it wants, so everything's perfectly in line, and have it output. Now the blue needs to input get over there. Uh, grab this nitrogen and drop it here. Go down here. Let's have it sink. Let's have it sink right after it drops. Just to be as efficient as possible. And then throw a little sink button there and I think we're in business. Okay, that reaction was quick and easy, and this one will be even easier because all it needs to do is just, uh, just needs to take two hydrogens and bond them together. Not a problem. It'll be so quick and easy a caveman can do it. Now, grab, input. Drop and needs to sink twice. Once again, we've got just enough space. Now, blue will do the exact same thing. Input here, grab, then it's gonna come around. Ah, yes, we need to put our extra sync button there. That's why we leave that space in. Well, no, wait, no, 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 we don't. We don't have to, because, yeah, let's see. Because it's going to be behind anyway. Oh, wait. Let's move the blue one back just a bit. There we go. That time they that way they can be running at the same time. And then we'll have our sink here. Whoop. Not what I meant to do. Needs to drop right there. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. New idea. And it's brilliant. Let's see, it needs to rotate twice. Bam. Okay, and our program should be finished. Let's see what happens. Of course, we can't see any of the programs happening because my laptop sucks, but whatever. Well, oh, we got something happening here. Okay, what exactly happened? 
It inputs B, just like it's supposed to. Yeah, that's for that's for nitrogen. Drop sink. Oh. Silly me. It's grabbing at the wrong point, that's why. Okay, that that should work. Yeah, there's no reason that won't work. Let's see if anything else goes wrong, because I'm a moron. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Something happened. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just put it at four. I'm not waiting around. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Well, I think that's just about enough for today. Next time, we have a challenge, and then the next mission, which is a defense mission. So, two new things for us to do on this planet before we can finish it. Unfortunately, I'm out of time today. So next time, we will get around to the challenge mission, and then we will continue on with our uh, regular, regularly scheduled programming. This has been Miles Power 1010, and I will see you guys next time.